In the early morning hours of the 5th of October 2007, a large number of VW bus enthusiasts were already waiting before the gates of the Hanover Trade Fair in their lovingly maintained vehicles. They all wanted to be there and experience it firsthand. The huge party celebrating 60 years of the VW bus, or as they say in Germany, the bully. At 7 a.m. on the dot, the gates opened at the seven check-in counters. The organizational team from Volkswagen showed the guests to their parking spaces. The original plan to reserve 3,000 spaces on the west parking lot already had to be revised in advance of the event. Registrations exceeded all expectations, with about 3,800 vehicles attending the festivities. Gradually, the available spaces filled up with one impressive Volkswagen bus or transporter after the other. Unser Bus, unser Leben. True to the motto, home is where I park my bus, 11,500 bus fans of all ages made themselves at home on 137,000 square meters, equivalent to 30 football fields. They came from a total of 28 nations. One bus fan from Moscow had even driven 2,587 kilometers just to be part of the event. At the Volkswagen Nutzfahrzeuge plant in Hanover, 150 specially selected VW buses of all generations congregated in front of the customer center. They would form an imposing convoy that afternoon, following a route from the plant through Hanover city center and onward to the fairgrounds. In lovely late summer weather, the convoy got underway at 2.30 p.m., kicking off the official portion of the three-day event celebrating the 60th anniversary of the VW bus.
considerable number of visitors had already gathered at the convoy's destination, Hammersplatz on the trade fair grounds. The huge stage with its semicircular roof dominated the scene. Under the equally imposing wooden roof of the trade fair hall, the variety of vehicles on display fascinated both young and old. More than 150 rare finds, curiosities and technical highlights were on view for visitors from around the world, not only to look at, but also to touch. Across 18,500 square meters, both in front of and inside the pavilion, VW buses were arranged according to theme. From the early days of production, almost six decades ago, to the latest examples of the legendary engineering that goes into Volkswagen Nutzfahrzeuge. The first day slowly drew to a close, but it was by no means over yet. At 8 p.m., 3,000 spectators gathered before the stage to watch a showing of the international hit movie Little Miss Sunshine, starring, you guessed it, a VW bus. While some people had not yet gone to bed, others were already beginning in the wee hours to prepare for the next day tens of thousands of bread rolls and thousands of copies of a regional newspaper had to be sorted into bags and distributed among the guests in the parking spaces where they were spending the night. The surprise was a success. The guests were delighted with this unexpected service so early in the morning. Smiles and happy faces could be seen everywhere, despite the chilly night that had gone before. Nevertheless, people turned their attention first thing in the morning to inspecting their four-wheeled pet. Visitors showed great interest in the well-organized spare parts market. The products on offer ranged from a single screw to a fully equipped vehicle. From very large items to minuscule odds and ends. Whether useful or perhaps merely curious, goods on offer gave people a welcome opportunity to browse at their leisure. Things were moving along at a less leisurely pace elsewhere. Behind the daytime stage, buses and transporters from all five model series were gradually coming together. In addition to the three best models from each of the series T1 to T5, which had already been selected on the internet, the certifiably oldest T1, T2 and T3, as well as the vehicles that had traveled the farthest all took their places in order to receive their awards later on stage. More than 90 vehicles from the T1, T2 and T3 series drove up to be ranked by one of the three juries of experts. The prizes included first, second and third place in the category Most Original Condition. 
Another jury, whose prominent members included singer Patrice and actor Manuel Cortes, chose three winners out of 15 vehicles to receive honors in the category Pimp My Bus. Thanks in part to the pleasant temperatures, thousands of visitors had gathered on Hammersplatz by midday. Business was booming at all the activity and sales stands. Anyone who wanted to find out more about the current vehicle range offered by Volkswagen Nutzfahrzeuge could sign up for a tour through the production facilities. Free shuttle buses brought guests from the trade fair grounds to the plant in the northern part of Hanover. All tours were fully booked. The level of interest overwhelming. Other shuttle buses headed for the ADAC grounds close by the fair. In addition to taking test drives in the latest model VW buses and transporters, guests could take part in a safe driving course under the guidance of seasoned ADAC specialists. There was also an opportunity to navigate an off-road circuit in appropriately outfitted vehicles. Parallel to what was going on outdoors, photos were being taken in Hall 13. Pros captured buses and transporters on film for an unusual book project. On 330 pages, the book presents a fascinating kaleidoscope of 3,000 VW buses from nearly 60 years of production. It's bully time. Six half-hour shows, beginning every hour on the hour, thrilled the spectators crowding in front of the daytime stage. The moderator was TV star Barbara Schöneberger, who took the audience on a humorous journey through 60 years of VW bus history. Several guests put in special appearances, among them Volkswagen veterans Gustav Meyer and Henning Duckstein. <laughs> Greeted by resounding applause, particularly for those from Hanover in the crowd, a delegation from the National League team Hanover 96 drove across the stage in the team bus. Among the players on hand were three who had been members of the 1954 championship team. 
Arriving on the scene straight from a competition of the Namibian coast came the multi-year world champion windsurfer Björn Dunkerbeck. Gerhard Plattner from Austria reported on his strange experiences during numerous record-breaking trips and provided tips on saving gas. Then I turn the motor off, because everything that is longer than 20 seconds is the motor still stand. Ach ja? Da bringt's was. Globetrotter Dieter Kreuzka, who came with his wife, even had a suggestion for improvement. Heiligabend sprang der Motor wieder an. Wir haben nur drei Schrauben überbehalten. Wir wollten das immer als Verbesserungsvorschlag an VW weiterreichen. Ja, die könnte man einsparen. <lacht> Super. Ich bedanke mich ganz, ganz herzlich. The witty quips of Carsten von Rüssen, who had been making the rounds at the show as outside reporter, had the audience roaring with laughter. Ich lege mich mal dazu. Mach mal Platz, mein Freund. Ah, ein herrliches Gefühl. Es klampf, ja, ja. Was ist da drin? Whisky? I'd like it to be whisky. Okay. Also eine Art Whisky. So we're just gonna settle for tea. Du bist aber auch ein netter Hase, du. She's nice. She's lovely, yeah. Ede, schmeiß den Riemen auf die Orgel. Yo. Wir fahren alle Bulli jahrelang. Ich bin begeistert. Hier kommt er. Oh, der ist aber wirklich im Traum. Aus Oberhausen. The highlight of every show was the appearance of the winning vehicles coming to accept their prizes. Ratta, ey, volle Moppe, danke, ne? Verrückte Menschen, diese Bullifahrer. Sehr, sehr, sehr sympathisch. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Was, äh, was fasziniert Sie an diesem Auto am meisten? Worauf sind Sie am meisten stolz? Auf das Luftgekühlte. Dieser Sound ist einfach was Besonderes. Der Sound ist gut, oder? Ja. Yeah. Okay. Soundexperte. With first, second and third places in 13 categories, a total of 39 prizes was awarded. Ich würde dann auch den Leitung von VW herzlich danken für so schön das alte VW-Bus mit dem jungen, neuen VW-Bus zusammenzubringen. Das war für mich ein Geschenk für mein Herz. Super, ihr habt ja viele Leute hier heute. Herbert Hess aus Oberries. Eine sagenhafte 20 Euro reingesteckt. Ja. Und er läuft und läuft und läuft. Der Mann, der 15.000 reingesteckt hat, fängt jetzt gerade an zu weinen, glaube ich. Ist es hier eigentlich auch eine Tauschbörse, dass man vielleicht so sagt, du gibst du mir deinen, gebe ich dir meinen? Bist du wahnsinnig? Nein, also das macht man nicht, oder? <lacht> wie schön. Und wie haben Sie den gebaut? Einfach aus Blechstücken zusammengesetzt. Das ist nicht Ihr Ernst? Doch. Und wie lange hat das gedauert? 1000 Stunden. Und? Noch verheiratet? Ja. Hello, you're the winner! Winner, winner! What's the best thing on it? Uh, we just use it for holidays. I just, it's just a good van. It's a good van? Yes, yeah, good okay, van. Okay, do you have another one? Two more. <laughs> Two more? Wie sieht's bei Ihnen aus? Ist es eine Leidenschaft? Eine sehr große Leidenschaft, ja. Was heißt das, wenn das eine große Leidenschaft ist? Meine Familie ist eine größere Leidenschaft, aber danach kommt sofort mein Bus. Did the work. Together. What means together? Yeah. She did work as well yeah. yes, on I that did. car? Yes, I did. And how did you like it? I liked it. You liked it? There was two choices. I can choose to be inside and wait and I could go out and help her. So, she had the choice. Either she waited in the house until she's fertig or she's done with it. And she decided to do it with it. For the sixth show, the highlight of which was the presentation of all first places in the various competitions, Barbara Schöneberger welcomed the family of bully inventor Ben Pott. They presented the CEOs of Volkswagen Nutzfahrzeuge with a gift marking the 60th anniversary of the VW bus and congratulated them on a successful celebration. Eine gute Idee ist nur gut, wenn er gut umgesetzt wird. Everybody, please pay attention. 
of the high points of the unique live music program was pop and rock singer Zasha, who thrilled guests with a 60-minute lineup of chart hits such as If You Believe, Lucky Day, and Coming Home. The International Bully All-Stars Group was created especially for this event. All in all, the musical program for the event offered something for every taste. In the evening, more than 44,000 fans went wild at the absolute top act of the event, a performance by legendary rock band The Who. And they rocked to hits such as My Generation, Who Are You, I Can't Explain, and Magic Bus. <laughs> On Sunday afternoon, three-day birthday party slowly drew to a close. VW bus drivers, visitors and organizers could all look back on an incomparable event. People, stories and experiences, all revolving around the myth of the VW bus. The figures for this 60-year anniversary of the idea behind the Volkswagen Transporter are astounding. Nearly 6,000 VW buses on the grounds and all around the fair, including more than 800 vehicles from abroad. 71,000 guests from a total of 28 countries. The 11,500 campers enjoyed over 44,500 bread rolls distributed amongst them and a daily paper to go with it. At the main catering stations, some 6,000 curry sausages and 1,000 kilograms of French fries were consumed and 100 kegs of beer imbibed. And this is not counting all the food and beverages served on folding tables at the campers' own private parties. 550 journalists reported with keen interest on the event. Opinion on the three-day party was unanimous. Insane, unbelievable, one of a kind, like nothing ever seen before. The best VW bus meeting ever. This is the way to celebrate a vehicle that, like no other in the world, expresses a special lifestyle and justifiably enjoys a unique cult status.